Morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 9th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, deciphering exactly what's happening here, uh, there certainly are two reasons as to why the market certainly have. Uh, have pushed higher on the European session. Asian markets overnight, uh, the uh, Nikkei actually finishing down, negative 0.5%, and the uh, Shanghai certainly finishing higher, 0.5%. Now the Shanghai certainly finishing higher along with the uh, US equities as well. Uh, what A factor that I've certainly ignored this morning, and I certainly need to pay more attention to it, although it certainly is being downplayed to a large extent, and given the fact that, uh, and it is being negated by concerns from Europe, and obviously the political concerns from Mr. Trump, the French concerns with regards to the election, Brexit concerns as well, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, we also have a, a few uh, banks that are certainly under uh, under pressure. One Portuguese bank, Commerce Bank as well, certainly down quite heavily, and uh, Thomas Cook concerns, so on and so forth. I mean, there certainly is a, a barrage of, of negative arguments, especially with the oil data yesterday, but we're still seeing the, uh, the, the oil price rally of that 51 level. Okay, so... Uh, we have sterling rally, we have the euro rallying as well up to 1.07, sterling still above 1.2550, so that certainly isn't good news. Now, now uh, the the actual um, uh, reason why we, are, we actually witnessed a rally in the Chinese markets overnight, and obviously US markets at present as well, mm -hmm. is because Mr. Trump sent a letter. He sent a letter to uh, Mr. Trump, uh, well, so one to the Chinese president, Mr. Z and uh, trying to argue for amicable uh, a relationship uh, going forward. But again, uh, it's just a letter at present. But some equity markets certainly are uh, grabbing onto it and obviously have short, short squeezed higher. We also have um, the uh, argument with regards to um, oil prices obviously higher to 53, so that's certainly helping as well, so commodity rally. And uh, we also have the, uh, the, uh, the argument of Theresa May certainly and, and obviously denying the uh, devolved powers any say and certainly getting her way in terms of obviously pushing the brexit bill forward so given the fact that the uncertainty there has been reduced because obviously if the devolved powers had a say then that could have obviously um, delayed the the brexit bill going forward so given the fact that, that delay is no longer there and uh, regardless of what your opinions are to it although they are obviously diverse uh, as i've been arguing this morning uh, it certainly, um, certainly is, uh, is obviously a net net positive for the FTSE, uh, and um, but only to a certain extent. Uh, we actually had a dip in the, a blip in the FTSE, but it certainly has been bought, and I am expecting a potential further blip going forward, given the fact that uh, number one sterling is above 1.2550, FTSE 250 at double top, and uh, we also have uh, oil, oil commodities now into resistance as well. Now these are all factors which I'll discuss shortly. Okay, uh, now uh, the European markets at present, you have uh, the uh, FTSE up 23 points, the DAX up 82 points, impressively the CAC as well, even though we have a stronger Euro and we have Grexit concerns and French political uncertainty, FTSE MIB higher as well, so certainly seems like more of a oversold bounce on the uh, on the news of Mr. Trump and uh, the President Z potentially coming, uh, coming together. Okay, now let's see exactly where we are technically. Now the German DAX itself, from my perspective, still remains bearish. We're still within that inside bar, okay? So still within that inside bar of the bear flag formation. And obviously you have this inside bar as well. So the upper body is always important, okay? If the market obviously negates that upper body, then your next level is going to be 11.670, 11.690, sorry. Okay, and you are going to look at uh, potential risk aversion. So for my interpretation anyway, uh, I'm certainly expecting risk off, uh, certainly looking for uh, bearish bias here, okay? Righty then. In terms of the uh, uh, the actual technicals, daily chart at the moment, you have a bear flag. HNS formation is in play, okay, uh, from my perspective. So German DAX bias should certainly be negative. You have this key diagonal trend line, certainly hit that. Hit the 200 MA as well, so, so again, under pressure. 10 minute chart, certainly looking at a potential reversal as we speak. So certainly looking for negative price action here, okay. Right, uh, in terms of the... Um, the actual French CAC. Let's just bring up the French CAC for you, folks. Okay, so daily chart retesting the HNS neckline, therefore looking for a move lower. So looking for 4.710 on that uh, potential pattern. 60-minute chart previous support equals resistance. Okay, so diagonal trend line resistance. This is a short setup that I've taken, looking for further downside. The French CAC on the 10-minute previous support equals resistance. So any potential thrust lower now? You are looking at uh, retesting this zone here. 
which is around 4790 so looking for 4790 on the downside here on the uh, the actual uh, French CAC itself okay so this is my potential target and then down to 4770 as well in terms of the FTSE 100 like I said Miss May getting her way, okay, certainly is uh, is helping the FTSE to a large extent. We had a pivot high of 7215, certainly pulling back now at the moment. The horizontal resistance zone certainly being respected in FIB 75% as well, okay. Uh, daily chart, you still have that topping tail, so again, topping tails at 7227. Certainly not to expecting that to be taken out. 10 minute chart did actually go back up and hit 7215, which is previous support equals resistance. Impressive, impressive thrust higher, okay, certainly needs to be respected. And now looking to potentially reverse lower. Now, if we do move lower, you can certainly see the pivot low of the day so far has been 7183 uh, and looking to potentially retest that zone. So, uh, although we, did, we will see some resistance at 71 or support at 7198, so certainly uh, take that on board as well. Okay, so that's the uh, status quo with regards to the FTSE 100. Okay, just bear in mind that the FTSE uh, uh, 250 at present on the daily chart is a double top. Okay. Uh, sterling certainly is uh, remains uh, a lofty and afloat and therefore one would argue that uh, the FTSE 100 certainly is going to come under immense pressure looking at the euro stocks at the moment okay so still uh, a series of low lows and low highs uh, exist okay if you do push higher then you are looking at resistance around the 3280 zone so watch out for 3280 on the euro stocks daily chart the euro stocks at the moment are uh, still within consolidation of that inside bar so you can see here okay so if anything this is more of a bear flag formation looking to potentially move lower on the back of obviously Grexit concerns French concerns etc okay so uh, extremism radicalization etc certainly on the increase although we do have uh, an unfilled gap above at 3300 so bear that in mind and the only way that could really close is if uh, the euro really does spike oh we get a major risk off event uh, US markets will be very interesting. Let's see how they uh, unfold. S&P key resistance at 2300 being tested in futures. And let's see if we can actually uh, roll over there. Okay. Uh, and that certainly seems to be a, a sum up there, folks. Uh, just to uh, give you an insight as well on oil. Uh, okay. Let's look at oil here, folks. Okay. Here we go. Oil. So we've certainly bounced off that 51 level, which is 200 MA. Okay. Any bounce certainly will be female, given the fact that we have excess supply concerns. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.